This video is part of our launch of our on-page mastery course. You can check it out at onpagemastery.com. It's completely free and we'll be doing several of these videos. So stay tuned for the rest of them coming up. So don't forget to subscribe below. I hope you enjoy. Peace. In this video, I'm showing you guys how to make a keyword opportunity model um, based off of click-through rate estimates. Um, and keyword difficulty taken from Ahrefs. So in this case, I'm looking at um, hiphop.com, which is owned by um, Perrin Carell or Carol um, from Authority Hacker and a bunch of other stuff that he's into. Um, and his site's a big authority site. They're doing, uh, you know, about 52K organic keywords, 46K traffic. So he's a fairly, you know, of established authority site um, and what I've done is, is I've come in here to the organic keywords um, in this case I've filled by position 1 to 10 uh, volume of 100 to no limit uh, I've exported all of that and I've just you know come in here and dropped that into here so at this point um, what you want to do is is you want to take the keyword difficulty um, and head down here and open up explore so you want to see what the average is you can just drag that you know next to it there so his average keyword difficulty he's ranking in the top 10 for is 8.66 so let's just put that um, in here let's move that up to the top quickly um, Whoops. Okay. Put that in there. We'll um, take that sum up there. Delete those two. And so once you know the average keyword difficulty that you know your site is ranking in the top ten for, um, you can then come in here and you can go into, let's say. Um, go from you know position 8 uh, to position 20 and we can apply that and now we've got this list here and what we're going to do next is we're going to export all of this data as well so we're just going to export all of this and then I'm going to drop it back into this spreadsheet also um, you know before you export this um, you can come into the keyword difficulty and you can say, um, you know, from let's say zero to eight, and we'll apply that there. And then we can see all these uh, keywords um, that he's ranking, you know, between positions eight and 20 um, for his average keyword difficulty score here, which is eight. And we're filtering that as well by um, the volume of 100 to no limits. So, We've got a decent amount of keywords here, um, keywords that really for a site like this should be um, low hanging fruit for improving the rankings on, either for improving the on page or um, a little bit of link building. So we're going to just export these and then we're going to go and drop them over into the spreadsheet now. So we're back on the uh, spreadsheet here. I'm just going to add in a new sheet just generally. I'm just going to drop all of that data in for now. Um, this time um, I've added in the traffic here as well so you're going to see why in a second um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to take let's say just for example here we're going to take these top five um, keywords and we're going to go drop these in the keyword opportunity model um, then we're going to come back into here and we're going to take position for all of these five keywords um, and put those back in as well and then we're going to take the volume and we're going to come back grab the traffic as well okay so now we've got that there um, what we really need to do is basically get a good idea of what position we think we can realistically 
uh, rank these keywords for. We know that their um, keyword difficulty isn't all that high. I mean, for this site, these are um, basically the bread and butter of what this site's ranking for. So um, you need to kind of get an idea of what you think you can improve on your own site, um, whether it's just adding one or two links, improving the on-page, Maybe you need to create, you know, an actual new piece of content for it if the URL um, that's ranking for that isn't specifically targeted at that keyword. So just come in here and just, you know, with this spreadsheet, we just quickly look at um, what position we think we can get. And we do this like me and Charles do this all the time for clients and stuff. So um, we usually use like way more data than this um, to find low, you know, low hanging fruit uh, keywords that we can put in this keyword opportunity model and actually get clients results within that you know first month um, or even you know sometimes in a couple of weeks sometimes all it takes is creating a couple pieces of content send that out to you know one of our writers and publishing it um, sometimes you know you can drop a PBN link or two um, sponsored post something like that so yeah you can just put these in there and you, you can kind of see um, quite quickly based on you know if you think you can only get this um, from 9th to 6th um, you're only going to be getting you know nominal amounts more traffic from 3.7 to 4 it's almost not worth it if, if you know it's not worth going out there and getting a link for that um, piece of content unless you think that you know you can get it in first and then you start to see that there's you know a drastic amount um, of more traffic that you're getting every month and that actually, you know, that perfectly illustrates the difference between sixth and first, really. Um, so, yeah, you'd, you'd need to kind of figure these things out. So a lower volume keyword like this one is probably not going to do as well. Um, but you can do that, you know, across all of these keywords. And I usually suggest, you know, going and, and uh, filtering these down a little bit more first um, to really get an idea because there's going to be loads in here with various different keyword difficulties um, traffic amounts and stuff maybe filter them by traffic or volume again um, try and focus on ones you know like this um, he's ranking you know in in 12 for this it's a very broad keyword uh, could be informational in intent um, so it's going to be hard to rank for but you know if you can even push that up you know into the top 10 you're going to be exposed to a lot more traffic because as you can see he's already getting 92 um, well according to Ahrefs 92 visits a month just from being in, in 12 so putting more effort into this um, opposed to this is actually going to be better for the traffic of the, uh, the overall traffic for the site um, rather than just you know that kind of vanity uh, ranking of you know putting another keyword a little bit higher up when really it's not going to be generating much more traffic so um, yeah that's just a little tip I wanted to give you guys and uh, um, hopefully you can use it let me know if you have any more questions and um, let me know if you've been using Ahrefs for this kind of thing already right, thanks. <laughs>